Washington, a group of Afghan interpreters who had feared for their safety after working with American troops are on their way to new lives in the United States, the Biden administration announced Thursday. Two of President Joe Biden's national security advisers said a plane carrying 200 people had left Afghanistan Thursday and was heading to the United States. The group includes Afghans who worked with U.S. troops during the war as interpreters, translators and in other roles, along with members of their families. They will slaughter us, Afghans who worked with U.S. beg for visas as troop withdrawal looms the initial group will be temporarily housed for about seven days at Fort Lee, a 6,000-acre army post in Virginia. There, they will be given a medical exam, offered a COVID vaccination and undergo final processing before they are resettled in cities across the country, said Tracy Jacobson, director of the Biden administration's Afghanistan task force. Biden has promised the U.S. would honor the sacrifices of Afghans who worked with closely with the U.S. military during the 20-year war in Afghanistan. Biden announced earlier this month that the withdrawal of U.S. troops would conclude by August 31, bringing America's longest war to a close ahead of his initial September 11 deadline. Because of such dangers, Congress created a special visa program in 2006 for Afghans and Iraqis who worked as translators, drivers and in other roles for the U.S. military during in those two conflicts. Some 70,000 Afghans have received visas and started new lives in the United States since 2008, Travers said. But the program is backlogged and limited. It takes an average of nearly three years for Afghans' applications to be processed, in part because of the rigorous vetting involved, according to the State Department. To keep our promise to our allies, we must evacuate them to U.S. territory now, the advocacy group Vets for American Ideals wrote Wednesday on Twitter. Michael Collins covers the White House. Follow him on Twitter at mcollinsnews.